Okay, so the map is Arabia. We have Sancho for the clue team as a Chinese flank. Found his sheep immediately. That is always great when you're playing Chinese. Mm, could you take a look at the map? Gold in the front on a hill. Not nice. The wood in the back seems okay, although this one here is a bit blocked from the berries. Great wood here. Yeah, he can place town centers. Stone is fine. This one, well, a bit between forests. Mm, this boar here should be safe. Where's the second one? Yeah, not to the front as well. Looks fine. Take this off. Cute. Player one, also for clue, um, is a Hans flank. Found his sheep too. Um, doing some sheep scouting. Looks good. Found more sheep here. Check his map. Mm, he's got deer next to the berries, which is always nice. Um, lots of hills here in the front. He can use that to his advantage and wall up really easily. Or hmm, get forwarded and lose. Um, his gold is okay, I should say. It's behind a forest. He can wall this off really easily. Secondary gold and stone. It's really all in this place here. So he needs to defend the eastern part of his base really well. Okay. Check the other players. Mm. It's a Hun's flank on the other side, so it's a Hun war, this flank. Um, it's um, Labit playing for Ark here in the east. Mm, he's got very nice gold in the back, stone in the back, but his wood situation looks a bit grim. Um, also this boar here is a bit to the front, it might get lamed. Deer is really close, really close. That's good too. He has some wood here in the back, but he still needs to scout it. Now oh, maybe he saw it already. Okay. Berries are fine. Secondary stone is fine. Mm, an average map, I'd say. He can wall it, but it's not too easy to wall. A normal Arabia map for him. Okay. The pocket. Um, canes. For the Ark team, uh, playing as Mongols, always a nice civilization to be a pocket uh, on Arabia. It's got great wood in the back, great gold in the back, secondary gold right behind that and more wood here in the north. Um, this is a beautiful map, really. Yeah, let's check. Where is second Boris? Did he hunt it already? Nope. Oh, lots of deer here. If he finds that, yeah, he saw it already. Ooh, I bet that he's gonna make use of this. As a Mongol uh, pocket, he should definitely use this. Uh, where's the second boar? I didn't see a, a dead boar already, and that's too early, actually. There's the second boar, so that's fine as well. And he saw it. Yep. Maybe it disappeared here for a second. Mm, okay. The enemy pocket being Mongols too. Interesting. Uh, his map is... Okay, gold in the back, but it is on a hill. But there, on the other hand, it's really close. That's alright. Stone, not that great. Um, secondary stone and gold, um, they are really close, so that's a good thing. Deer is rather close, very easy to push. Mm, second boar also, yeah, looks okay. And let's move on to the last player, so we have mains here. Actually check, yeah. Seems like this is not mirror. So we have Huns against Huns. We have Mongols against Mongols here. But we have um, Maya against China here. Mm, let's actually check back with the players whether that's alright or not. Ok. 
Okay, so the players did not rejoin, they are still in the game. So, looks alright. Okay, and they unpaused the game. He's back, everything alright. Bring the chat back, here we go. Okay, it seems like player one. Um, oh, let me quickly jump to him here. Player one playing as Hans. He is um, planning on going top 21 scouts, which is an interesting strategy for Hans. Why not? A mm, lot of pro players do it recently to fight off droshes. Um, I haven't seen it too often in team games though. Um, if he uses the scouts to hit the enemy pocket, then he can do some real damage. But um, usually you would see a drosh FC as a uh, Hans pocket. Okay, what else is happening? Scouting the center of the map. Did he find the enemy here? Ah, oh, he was really close. I see. Nah, he can't know the, where his base is. Only from two deer. Not really. Um. Let's take a look at what's happening here. Yes, he's moving out with the villagers, getting a mill here between this deer patch. That is six deer. That is just. Ugh. Heaven sent for a Mongol pocket. Okay, and what's the other Mongol pocket doing? I guess there is another pause. Um, pushing deer here. Mm, he might kill another sheep here if he's not quick and micros the villager. What else? Four on wood, getting a house here, pretty standard. Mm. Hey, uh, what is Red doing here? Red is going for a drush. Got one militia already, queued two more. And he has scouted green pretty well already. Okay. What's Green doing? Is he expecting the drush? No, he's going on up with Pop 21. Got two lumber camps at very different locations, which is always helpful when you get drushed or you get under early pressure. Mm, four on berries. Yeah, two dead sheep. Happens in team games, I guess. And yeah, here, cute player one is already up to fuel by 42% as a barracks coming up on the hill. So I guess he w will try to wall up here, here, and here. Maybe even here, he can wall up a lot of uh, area with a few palisades. That's really nice. Here we are again. Okay, so, um, 60% up for blue. What's this enemy doing? He went up a bit later with pop 23. His wood, yeah, as we've already seen, um, is a bit far and he actually went for this one and not the wood in the front. And it is bad, there's this oasis. This one here is um, clustered as well. So, probably a good call to take the one in the back. Okay, uh, Mongol pocket, as we've said. Taking deer here, not really efficient. Three dead deer at the same time. Um, four. Berries, two farms, which is fine. He has to compensate for the mill here. Two. My uh, lumber camps looks really great here with the saturation. Three on gold. 
pretty standard level 27 up. Nothing, nothing crazy. Okay, a bit late on gold here, but it could still be fine with pop 28. Um, it's gonna, yeah, it's gonna be a bit later. He had three deer, he's just eating them here on the TC, or, yeah, in front of it. There was some signaling going on, what's happening here. Oh yeah, there's the drush. There's the drush. Let's quickly change over to Sancho's view. Yeah, but the drush is not doing anything. It's just hitting against the wall. Ouch, he lost his scout now. That's never good. So you won't know what his enemy will be doing um, after the drush. Um, still three militia. Let's check their HP. Mm -hmm. Pretty much on full HP. So still dangerous. Mm. Player 5 here trying to harass with the scout. Won't do much. Won't do much. Okay. And there's the next pause. Okay. Okay, there's a wall coming up. Yeah, I like the walling. Makes a lot of sense to do it like this. There's the stable, one scout finished already, three more queued. Mm. A lot of resources here, but there is blue already here. Mm. Lavit has only one scout here and a villager, and blue has three scouts in this situation, so either he quickly brings villagers in or he unleashes the two scouts who are um, created now as soon as possible. Mm, critical situation here for Grey. He might lose both if he's not gonna react fast. Okay. Yep, but this is exactly what happened. He got the scouts out, he is bringing in villagers, and Blue has to retreat now. There is one dead scout for Blue. Yep, he's pushing him back. You should be careful with this scout, only on 5 HP. Yeah, okay, but in total this is 4 scouts and a spear, so Blue needs to retreat. Okay. Still in feudal age here, what's happening? Ah, okay, there we go. Stable is up and... Oh, what's he waiting for? <laughs> Stable is up, blacksmith is up and... Okay, there we go. Click up, pop 29 at minute 14, I think, was it? Uh, that is still okay, it's not really fast, but it's still okay. Um, what's... What's happening here? Mm -hmm. The pocket scout here from Yoshiki is on 1 HP, huh. but still doing his work. And yeah, Sancho, the green player, is pushing back the drush now. Um, Asuka, um, the Mayan here, is actually chased by a wolf. These two. Huh. Militia are on 1 HP, Ooh, no, 2 HP for this one. What's happening here? He actually managed to kill the wolf and still has these two militia. Good job, really, good job. Okay, but now this is like a change in position. Right now it's um, green pressuring red, so he turned this around in only a few minutes. Good job there. Uh, let's turn the fog war on again. How is Red defending this? He didn't use his deer. They are hmm, not really forward, but not really safe either. Um, what else? Four plus three on gold. Ah, oh, he's using. Ah, oh, this is always nice. Green was using the oasis here, but now he's a bit trapped. Ah, these militia on. On 1 and 2 HP, they're still doing damage. It's, it's crazy. Okay, now he got one. 
And I, I bet he sees this. Yeah, there's the second one. There was a wolf. Again, annoying. Mm, okay, green has to retreat now. But I think he will give red a few hits on his way back. Because it is basically skirms against the archers. He just needs to kill these uh, militia. Come on. Ah, yes. There go the militia. So, four archers left and a bunch of skirms here for green. Looks pretty good. His defense is rather... Hmm, let's say his walls are really close to his resources, so some archers could do damage from behind the forests and palisades. Here, pretty much the same enemy can just move in into the um, oasis. This tower here is a good idea because this gold is really uh, a nightmare. He needs to protect it. Okay, what's happening here? He's moving in. He could walk around. It's not walled, is it? No, it's not walled at all. Come on, go, go, go. No, he's waiting for his pocket. Mongols on the night. Yep, and there's there's the command. I'm here now. Let's go. Um, only a few range units here. Only one skirm for archers. Oh, a lot of knights here now. A lot of knights. Uh, it's really looking looking bad for red now. That is uh, Kusa. Let's check his point of view. Yeah, he had to abandon his wood here. He lost a f two villages here already. This house did not finish. Berries, well, it's only seven left, but now it's gonna get critical. A lot of villagers. Um, gold, um, green, told um, player five where to go. And now it's really like uh, crucial. Wow, a lot of villagers building this TC 60, 70 percent, 80, 90, and it's up. And he garrisons. There's still a lot of dead units around. Ah, and another knight down for uh, the pocket. So good job from Red. Um, he defended this really, really well. I thought he would lose a lot of villagers here, but this TC was, yeah, the best thing he could do. Mm, another knight going down for nothing. Or is he? No, 13 HP left. Another yellow knight coming in. Can green actually use this here? Yeah, the, well, they still... Yep, and here is using the, the oasis again. There is a little hole here between the forests. And yes, villager down, villager down. This archer here won't help anything. Mm, it's still not looking great for it. Still not great. Let's check the other flank. Ooh, yes, blue actually walled, just as I, as I thought, because it's really so easy to wall this off. Um, it's gone. Well, the huge one. Crossbows and later on cavalry archers. Mm -hmm. These few few late archers will be crossbowmen in a sec. Here we go. And there are some knights from player five. Player five is doing a great job here, um, leading in score by two hundred compared to the other pocket. Um, he has knights everywhere. Really, uh, really, it's you know, looking good. The enemy pocket has some more cavalry archers, but not that many. Let's check him out. He's a defending player. The uh, misclick, sorry. So, here we go. Yeah, the enemies are in. He has to let go of his gold. And he only has six cavalry archers. That is not enough to kill blue or... Mm, teal here. That is a problem. He should get a TC either at his 
wood or at his gold if he can push them back, but I don't see it happening too soon. Mm, the crossbows are on the hill now. Ooh, another good shot. That's a dead cavalry archer, but yeah, the numbers are growing. It is three ranges. It is fairly easy to pump out these cavalrys. They are really, really cheap for hunts. Uh, and uh, some micro here. Three dead crossbows. No, two dead crossbows. One spear. Two. Ah, uh, two dead cavalrys. What are they fighting here? Okay, there's a yellow knight. Uh, okay, Grey cleared the crossbowman, but now he has to retreat. He cannot take these knights anymore. Too many calf archers are low HP. And there's Blue moving in with a lot of calf archers now for this stage. Um, yes, and there's the TC. So he had to had to abandon his gold here. He has no chance of yeah, throwing up a TC here to protect it. And blue runs into the TC now. And the spearman. Uh, Teal should pull back these knights here. It's just a waste. Um, okay, but now blue is hitting the other gold, which is always a problem when you are Hans, or let's say if you're going archers in general, because the just require a lot of gold, so hitting the gold is really the best thing you can do as an enemy. Uh, this is not walled, why did Blue not try to save these archers? Come on. Yeah, now he's being chased and these are just, yeah, they're dying. Okay, so well defended from Grey, he had to yeah, leave this gold, but he was able to get some gold here in the meantime. It was the right call here to save these villagers with a TC. And now he can just get a TC, a second one a bit later, at his main gold. So, overall, some good decisions, even though he was behind an army and, yeah, he got doubled in the beginning. Now, on the other hand, Blue has many... Ah, a lot of cavalry archers. He really needs help from yellow now. Come on. Yeah, a lot of flaring. <laughs> I don't know whether you could hear that as loud as me, but... Yellow should definitely know now. Okay, and he's retreating. Blue needs to retreat. Check the other flank again. Um, Just one thing. Teal is moving in with more knights. There's some flaring going on from green. Seems like he had to fall back a little bit. Let's go to his point of view. There we are. Okay, so no more activity in red space, but he's getting a siege workshop now. Um, well, it makes sense. He had some good hits on red's economy. He must be leading in a village account and, and, and well, in resources pretty much everything. Um, so now he's getting a siege um, workshop um, as a forward building and he's gonna add pressure and... Ooh, Red didn't stop early enough so he lost a few archers while yeah, they were still moving. Oh boy. Ah, but if he loses this villager then it could slow green down but no, it's not happening. Yeah, these archers need to run from the knights. There's the villager, and I think he will send him on this. No, he just... Ah, he's putting it even more uh, forward. And there's stone. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Green is doing a lot of damage right now. Ouch. Mowing down and the crossbows and villagers and stone here. With the help of Teal as well. There's a Manganel. I hope Teal sees this. Would be a yes, he sees it now. He's get getting the Manganel before it can do any damage to these crossbows here. And he has more knights here than yellow. 
has two knights, three in total left, while yellow has nothing in, in red space anymore. Let's check here. Forward seat workshop for blue as well. Coming in with rams, crossbow, crossbow. No, with cavalry archers and some knights from teal. Yeah, more knights coming in, teal asking to signal. Yeah, these um, cavalry archers here are standing, or are holding the ground, standing there like boss and um, yeah, they are ooh, well upgraded, but they lack the second um, armor upgrade. Um, anyway, these rams here soak up the damage from the TC and the cavalry archers. Um, and blue is shooting the knights here, attacking the rams from the back. Yeah, purple is sitting here and waiting. Ah, oh, good shot. I took one at least. Took one at least. I managed to save this archery range. Another ram coming in, distracting the fire. Oh, getting the attention of the cavalry archers, to say the least. And now blue set to GB. Okay. Uh, let's check this push here. Yeah, green has killed uh, everything redhead in the front. Three rams busting in, going straight for the TC. Still a lot of crossbowmen here. Let me do the math. This is 16 crossbows. Um, moving in circles. Uh, Red has some economy in the back, and it's uh, yeah two town centers, so that's nice. But still, he does not have any army really, except for a few archers and a mangonel. This just hurts. And yeah, all these farms, all these villagers, his initial army here, it's all gone now for Red. Really looking, looking bad. Let's check the other side. Um, ooh. Blue really having having the advantage here. Standing, uh, yeah, he's standing in front of the enemy TC, taking the fire, but it doesn't really matter because um, it's so many units. Um, they have bloodlines. Wow, a good shot from the mangonel. I think there was four dead cavalry archers for Grey with one shot. Um, collecting a lot of gold here. And there is really a stream of knights going in and light cavalry. So they are going all in. Mm, I think red... I think green told his pocket that he's doing really well. And now he is not asking for help anymore and actually going for the pocket if I see this correct. These archers here were here and they are moving towards the east now. Um, this is interesting. He, he just went east and now he's going back to west or north rather. Um, does Teal see the mangonels? Oh, there's flaring. There's flaring going on. Is he using micro? Yes, split formation. Ah, oh, go, go, go. Moving closer to the mangonels, they have a minimum range. Oh, one shot, two crossbows down. Yeah, three mangonels here, basically for nothing. Mm, another siege workshop. Uh, what's happening here? Yeah, Grey lost the fight. No more army left, only blue here. With cav archers and rams, a lot of knights from Teal, and Teal was about to move in on Red as well, and yeah, Red had no army left and was up against a bunch of knights, um, rams and crossbows. So both flanks lost. They were pressured hard with an early castle push. Um, they were forwarded by Siege and, yeah, well, a classic. Um, both clue flanks had a, an advantage early on and they really made the best out of it, or let's say they used it as soon as possible. And if we take a look at the score, um, 
it really seems like teal paid yellow a visit if we take a look at the economy here i don't see huh, hardly any farmers left on his farms i see some dead knights so definitely teal uh was harassing yellow as well but there was so much going on on the yeah, the flanks so this is it um we can quickly check the achievements now that we have time bum, bum, bum. okay let's check the economy first maybe compare the pockets food collected um 15 000 against uh 9 000. so that's a difference of um, 6 500 here in food between the pockets in wood there's a difference of uh, almost 5,000 um, yeah 4,500 in wood stone a lot here enough for a castle and a few TC's n almost no stone for yellow gold collected almost double here 4,700 against 8,100 and yeah so economy wise teal was much stronger much more developed than yellow here i think this is safe to say society villagers 122 for teal 61 for yellow ouch 61 that's actually the lowest count um and this all reflects in the score of course military statistics 114 killed for teal 48 losses and well red took a lot of hits here 57 killed 95 losses yeah okay i think this is it change the score